breaking news. New victims coming forward saying they were assaulted by a Marblehead youth hockey coach. Authorities now say there may be as many as eight victims. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Kate Merrill. And I'm Chris McKinnon. That coach, Christopher Prue, was just ordered held without bail. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Lynn now with the latest for us. Beth. This is an extremely disturbing case that has grown even within the last 24 hours. 31-year-old Christopher Prue was just arraigned on two additional cases, charges involving a decent assault and battery. But there could be more charges, as five more alleged victims have come forward, saying Christopher Prue also sexually abused them, and they are now being interviewed by police. The victims range in age from 6 to 11 years old. Most are from Marblehead, where Prue was a private youth hockey coach. One is from out of the area, another a Canadian exchange student. Prosecutors say many of the incidents happened inside Prue's condo, a unit he rented from the mother of the first alleged victim. On the stand during the hearing today, a Marblehead police investigator described some of the alleged abuse. We spoke with the child. He disclosed that um, he had been alone with Prue. Um, he had also had one-on-one -on -one <coughs> sessions with Prue for hockey and that um, on uh, multiple occasions at Prue's condo, um, he, Prue had touched the child um, on his private parts. Now, several of Prue's family members were inside the court to support him. They left without any comment, though Prue's father did take the stand, pleading with the judge to let him go and let him live with his parents. The judge did make reference to several letters of support and admiration for Prue, but apparently he was not persuaded as he held him without bail. Reporting live from outside Lynn District Court, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News.